Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? Uh, I'm getting ready to uh, go to my sister's for the weekend. Again, I got a three-day weekend and, you know, just spend some time with some other people because I'm all alone in the trailer. And then I wanted to give a special shout-out to my buddy Josh who left a very poignant comment on my last video of the uh, Nora's Asian barbecue rice and... Uh, Giant go Italian side. He left a very kind and very poignant statement uh, comment on there. And I wanted to give him a shout out, Josh Sorrell. I keep saying Josh Sorrell, even though his name keeps, uh, of his channel keeps changing. It went to Sorrell Soul Originals and then it's to Josh. Well, it was, can't remember, Sorrell's Family Values, I think. And then it was Cowboys and Angels. And then it was, Back to, no, Sorrell's Soul Originals Relo Reloaded, and then it's uh, the Josh and Kayla show now. I mean, I really do follow your videos, uh, brother, my friend, brother. Uh, and they've gone, his channel's gone through a bunch of name changes. I'm trying to think of all of them, because he originally started doing challenge videos. And then he went to food reviews, and that's what he's doing. And then other stuff, too, like I do. Like, I started doing, like, different random videos, and... Cart uploaded cartoons. I have cup cartoons, old cartoons on some of my old, very old videos, and uh, I don't do cartoons anymore. I did one last summer, and that was the last one I did. Uh, and I, I went on the food reviews, and then movie reviews too. And the, and this one is a movie review. It's for a movie called Lovelace. It's a biopic about Linda Lovelace, the infamous porno porn star, and then who was in one of the most uh, iconic porn films of all time, Deep Throat, who starred in that. And back then, there was like, and she started, uh, that started the whole thing called Porno Chic, where people weren't, went to mainstream theaters to see movies and stuff like that, where it was fashionable to see dirty movies. And there was like four iconic movies that came out during that time, Deep Throat, Devil Miss Jones, uh, Behind the Green Door, and... Uh, uh, Debbie Does Dallas. Those, I mean, to my knowledge, those are the most iconic ones. And then there's other ones that are famous, but those are the most iconic back in the early 70s when it was fashionable to go to see dirty movies. It's not really anymore, even though it's a multi-billion dollar industry. And uh, I saw all of them except for Behind the Green Door. Uh, I have the four, why well, didn't see the one? I saw something called X-Rated that was about the Mitchell brothers who made the movie that on uh, from Showtime. I did see that. I had that on DVD. I did see uh, that both uh, Charlie Sheen and Milo Estevez are in that, if I'm not mistaken. And that's a really good movie. But of the of the four movies, well, of the three that I've seen, I like Debbie Does Dallas the most. Because I thought that was pretty good. You know, there wasn't enough Bambi Woods in it. And she was only in like one movie. I don't know whatever happened to her. Well, anyways, this movie's about her, uh, it's a biopic about her and her parents, and the one thing, her mom was played by Sharon Stone, and I didn't even recognize her until I saw the credits. Well, that's pretty, that's something else. I didn't even recognize her. And, uh, it's a really good movie. It starts out, it's weird because it starts out telling, telling all about Deep Throat, and then it goes back and shows... She meets this guy named Chuck Trainer and it shows how incredibly abusive he was and forced her into the porno game. But I mean, I knew I know about this because there's a great documentary that was made. I saw back in 2010. You know, it's made a, it was made earlier than that called Inside Deep Throat, which is a great movie. If you get a chance to see it, see it and see. Uh, they have two versions: R-rated and NC-17. And Universal released the movie, and it, the NC-17 uh, version is the one I recommend, but it shows, like, actual scenes, like the the actual triple X-rated stuff in two, like, 15-second parts uh, towards the first 45 minutes of the movie. You know, it actually contains graphics. I, and they actually showed that on cable, which surprised me on Stars because I was with my dad. I said, well, why don't we see this movie? I'm some, I want to see if they actually show the actual act. And they did, even though it's not a big part of Inside Deep Throat. It's like a 15-second 
uh, segment, and then 20 minutes goes by, and they show like another 17 seconds of that, and that's all. And they just talk about the movie. The movie is that movie is actually better than this one. It's very informative. This one is more like a biopic. And it's really good. Uh, James Franco plays Hugh Hefner. And basically it talks about her rise to uh, fame in this probably the most iconic porno film of all time, Deep Throat. And um, it goes through, like I say, it tells the story and then it goes back, tells it again through uh, the amount of abuse that Chuck Trainer put her through. And in uh, the movie Inside Deep Throat, her mother, her real mother, who Sharon Stone plays are really good, but I didn't even recognize her. She said she dread she cursed the day that she ever met Chuck Trainer. In uh, Inside Deep Throat. See, I'm going back and forth between two movies, but I mean, I like this movie very well. It gets really disturbing the second half of the movie, and uh, it's just another tragic tale of uh, the porn industry. Just like I'm comparing two different subjects, but if you ever if you're a fan of wrestling, you know wrestling has a very sad and tragic side to it, too, for the older wrestlers, just like like pornography does. You know, I'm comparing two different subjects, but it's a really good movie. Uh, I, I recommend it. I give it a 9 out of 10, even though I give Inside Deep Throat a, a full-on 10 out of 10, because I think that's more informative. But I found out something I didn't know. You know, they have stuff at the end of the movie, because she uh, and the Lovelace end up for like 20 years speaking out against pornography and domestic violence and she passed away in 2002 from a car accident and Bill Maher on Politically Correct made a dirty joke when she passed away it figures because I, I mean she was always known as the girl that was in the dirty movie even when she cleaned up her life and she got away from Chuck Trainer. because Chuck Trainer influenced her to do a lot of stuff even bestiality which is not mentioned in the movie at all but I know he uh, made her do a bestiality uh, dirty stag film or whatever it was for I don't know how much and uh, yeah it's just a really tragic tale it's a very good movie but not as good as Inside Deep Throat like I said I give 9 out of 10 for Lovelace which is on Netflix right now I think they were going to have Lindsay Lohan play her character but uh, that got shot down I don't know. Lynn Lohan probably screwed up again. I know she was up to play the character Lynn Lovelace. I, I don't know. can't remember the girl who played her. But it's a very good movie. I, I definitely recommend it. 9 out of 10. But definitely see it alongside Inside Deep Throat, which is in some ways more informative. And also you get to see, uh, when they show a clip of her filming the movie, you get to see how incredibly stupid the humor was in the movie. I mean, it has some of the dumbest jokes in it whatsoever. You know, it's like... A, fifth grade dirty jokes as far as the humor goes it was it was really bad and even the director Gerald uh, Damiano who passed away who was played by Hank Azaria very well said it's a bad movie and, he, and, and, and when they show a clip uh, from the documentary interview you said he said do you think it's a good movie he goes no it's a bad movie but I mean it is what it is uh and it was in control of the mafia, too. But it went on to make $600,000. I thought she made 500 bucks, but she made uh, $1,250. So. Back then, it's, I mean, she should have made a lot more money. But I mean, she didn't make a whole lot. She made almost nothing. Even though back then, in the early 70s, uh, $1,250 is a lot of money. But I highly recommend the movie. It's really good. I'm getting off in the tangent, though. I read a lot about this movie, and you learn, actually learn a lot about the from the documentary. Talks I'm reviewing both movies, but the review basically is on the movie Lovelace made back in 2013. It's on Netflix right now. If you get a chance, go see it and see Inside Deep Throat if you can find it. I don't know if it's on Netflix, but uh, I was shocked that uh, stars showed the actual triple X-rated hardcore pornography scenes in it. There's only two. In uh, Inside Deep Throat. And they're not that long. But I was really shocked about that. But I, I recommend the movie. If you like biopics and stuff like that. I think you'll really enjoy it. So 9 out of 10 for Lovelace. And 10 out of 10 for Inside Deep Throat. So until next time. Bye please. Take care of my legion. And once again a great shout out to Josh Sherrells. Because I asked him. If. Because uh, I, I wanted to do a shout. He was going to do a shout out on his next video to me. 
and I asked if he thought it'd be weird if uh, I did a shout out to him on this video review of uh, a movie about the porn industry. He said, no, it's all right. So shout out to Josh Rells too. So until next time, bye, please take care of my legion. Great movie. If you get a chance to see it on Netflix, definitely give it a shot. It's really good. Even though it gets disturbing during the second half with all the abuse, you know, but it's really a good show. So take care, everybody.